Today I want to talk to you about my picks for the top woodworking tools under $100 and we're starting right now. <laughs> hey, if you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. I would also greatly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That'll give you notifications anytime I post new content. I'm trying to upload at least one video a week and maybe more sometimes. So when you think about woodworking, there's a lot of tools you can buy. I mean, you can, you can spend anywhere up from $5 to thousands of dollars on woodworking tools. But today I wanna keep everything under the $100 budget and that's what we're gonna discuss. Most of these tools will be corded uh, with a cord, electrical cord on there for under $100. But you can pick up some cordless tools if you're already in that system uh, for under the $100 budget. Uh, especially if you already own the batteries, say for DeWalt or Rigid or Ryobi or whatever your uh, tool of choice is. My first pick is the old circular saw. You can do a ton of woodworking with this circular saw, with a circular saw. This is a master mechanic. This is a no-name brand. I, I don't even know who makes this thing. Uh, it was given to me and this is what I've started with and it, I've had no reason to upgrade up until this point. Uh, it's working for me. Uh, you can buy, I did upgrade the blade. I got a Diablo blade on there. I, re, I highly recommend those Diablo blades. They're very inexpensive, about $15, $20 and it, it cuts like a hot knife through butter. So I'll show you some of my, my picks. If I was gonna buy another uh, circular saw today, uh, I'll show you what I would pick. That here, this is a skill saw I would choose if I was buying one today. This is a skill SPT67WM-22 uh, Sidewinder. It comes with a Diablo blade. Those Diablo blades are awesome. So you wouldn't even have to upgrade the blade unless you want a finer tooth. But for framing, cross cutting, stuff like that, this would be a great saw. It's coming in right under that uh, $100 mark at $99. Uh, skill saw is a brand everybody knows. A lot of people even call circular saws skill saws. Uh, by, by name like a Coke or a Kleenex, so that's what I would choose. Next up would be this Bosch. I really like this. It's pretty highly reviewed. 51 reviews, four stars. Check that out right there. All these saws are seven and a quarter inch. That's a common size. The blades are inexpensive to get. Like I said, I would always go with a Diablo blade if I was going to buy an extra blade or, uh, or uh, if I was going to upgrade the blade. But this is uh, right at $99, same as a skill. If I was choosing between the two, I'd go with skill, but that's my personal preference. This one is highly, uh, uh, a little more reviewed at 173, four and a half star reviews. Now you see the shoe on it is uh, slick on the bottom. Uh, this is a good Makita saw if you like Makitas. Uh, this one's $99, a 15 amp. I think it's probably a good saw. It's well reviewed. There's a porter cable. If you want to save a little bit of money, right now it's on sale. It usually runs about $60. Uh, again, you're going. I would upgrade that blade. I'm sure that blade will last you a few cuts, but other than that, you're going to need it. But this one also is 15 amp. Uh, it's a pretty good price. Here's a lower price skill saw. It's just over $60 at $62.99. Uh, this one's highly reviewed. 312 reviews, four and a half stars. If you want to save a little bit of money and not want to spend quite $200 or $100 on a saw, this one here would be good. It's got the laser beam on it to help you guide your cut. Pretty good deal, I think. Then if you was uh, shopping Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, Home Depot has the Ryobis. This one's at uh, $39.97. It's very inexpensive. It would probably be okay for a DIYer. Uh, somebody's gonna use it occasionally. If you're gonna use it a lot, I would probably just go in and get the skill saw or the Makita, maybe even the Bosch. Uh, Rigid has one also, but that one's a 12 amp, so keep that in mind if you're going with that. It's going to be a little less power. So as you can see, there's tons of options for circular saws uh, that you can keep under $100 and still get a nice quality tool. Not only can you cut wood with circular saws, you can also cut metal. Gator makes these metal cutting blades. These are very inexpensive and they work really well. If you watch my uh, dog kennel video, I'll drop a card above. If you watch that video, how I cut the rebar for the, the bars in that kennel, one of these and this circular saw. They work really well. I bought two thinking I would need two. I made several cuts. I don't remember how many bars were in there, top and bottom on each one, two cuts per bar. Uh, I made ton, tons of cuts and I only used one blade and it still has a lot of life left in it. So these work really well. My next pick is an orbital sander. This is a random orbital sander. This is the DeWalt uh, 
DWE6423. All these will be linked below uh, if you're interested. I've had this for several months now. This is a great, great orbital sander. I, I really like this orbital sander. I started out, I went to Walmart and bought a hyper tough orbital sander for like 20 bucks. It lasted about a month and it just quit working. So I went and this one was $79 at, my, at a local store that I bought. You can get them on Amazon, link below, exact same price. Sometimes they go on sale. Uh, this is a Perform and Protect series, so the uh, vibrations isn't as bad as some other orbital sanders. And this is also variable speed. It goes up from a 1 to a 6, so you can, you can adjust the speeds on it. Uh, it's got a Velcro pad that's replaceable. If it wears out, you just take some screws off, take it off, and buy another one and put on there. Uh, for $80, it comes with a, uh, a little dust collection bag on there. I have mine hooked up to a DeWalt uh, dust extractor but this works very well. I'm really happy with it. But I'll also share you, let's look at some other picks if I was buying a different brand that I recommend. So here is the actual, the sander that I'm using. It's the DeWalt DWE 6423. This one has a K on the end. It doesn't always have to have a K if you're looking it up. This one's on Amazon for $79. I've seen it, it stays at $79. That's what I paid for it. This is a great sander. I, I really like the sander. It's got the variable speed, as you can see on the side. Right there where your thumb goes, you can change it from one to a six. That helps out a lot uh, for various applications. It's also part of the Perform and Protect series, so it doesn't vibrate your hand near as much as some other sanders do. I like where their own off switch is, right where your forefinger goes. It's just a good all around sander. I really highly recommend it. Comes with its own dust bag too. This is the one I almost purchased instead of the DeWalt. I went with the DeWalt just based on brand recognition, but this is a good sander, I think, this Bosch. It's $59 uh, on sale now, but it's usually around $70. This is a heck of a deal. It's highly rated uh, across the internet. Uh, even on here, it's 282 reviews at four and a half stars. I would recommend that. I wouldn't have any trouble recommending that one if you wanted to pick something like that up. This Makita, I don't know much about. Uh, I picked it because it's Makita. Uh, Makita is a good brand, I think. Uh, this one's highly rated. It also has that extra handle up there. I don't think you're going to need that on uh, most things you're working on because this is not going to spin up high enough for you to worry about that. Probably wind up not even using that. But at $79, I think it's a good buy. And then here's the DeWalt DWE 6421K. Uh, I think this is a good buy. This one is the difference in this one and the other one. Uh, at 59 versus 79, this one doesn't have variable speed. I believe it has everything else. It just doesn't have the variable speed. So if you want to save $20, you look at this one instead. Uh, it's going to have the Performer Protect. Uh, it just, it just like I said, doesn't have the uh, variable speed. This Ryobi is highly rated at 26 customer reviews. Take that for what it's worth. I've never used Ryobi, uh, but I see a lot of people that do use them, and they work well for them. I would recommend this if you wanted to try to get one under $60. I think this is a pretty decent deal. I'm not sure how long they last. Probably good if you're just a weekend warrior or DIYer. Now, if you need to cut things that are curved, or cut circles in that stuff it's hard to do with a circular saw i recommend a jigsaw these things can be had for under 100 dollars for a good quality one this one was just over 100 uh, this is a bosch uh, jigsaw but they make uh, you can get ones under 100 dollars. these are really nice for cutting different uh angles you know cutting around stuff if you see my noodle board video i use one of these uh, my christmas decorations video uh, I use one of those. You, it's just so easy to, to be able to cut uh, not straight lines where you cut curves and things and you can put a little design in your in your items. And a lot of people do like, scroll type work with the jigsaw. They're highly versatile. Let me show you some um, of my top picks for jigsaws. I'm going to check these jigsaws out. I personally own a Bosch. It's a one up uh, from this one. It's $150, but this one's $79 with a six and a half amp motor or a six amp motor, I'm sorry. It's a, I think it's a heck of a deal. Uh, that little switch there will uh, adjust if it's good, if the blade's cutting straight or if it has a little bit of orbital to it. Uh, toolless blade chains on these Bosch are awesome. You can just flip those uh, T-shanks in and out. Uh, I think a T-shank blade is, is superior to the U-shank. They stay in better. It's easier to change. Uh, Bosch makes good stuff. This one is six and a half amp. It bumps the price up to $99. I think that's pretty good. If you want an equal price, a DeWalt, this is what I would go with right here. You see it also has an orbital blade, a T-shank, Q 
keyless change or a you know a toolless change. Uh, this is a good. I think this is a good deal. 143 customer reviews, four and a half stars, and it's a Dewalt. Dewalt's a well-known name in power tools, and I think this would probably last you quite a long time. Hitachi. I have a Hitachi uh, belt sander. It works very well. I'm happy with it. So if you just want to save just a little bit of money, twenty dollars, so you can go with this uh, Hitachi, and I think you'd be okay. Uh, it has the toolless blade change, and also T shank. I think it'd be a good buy. And of course, Porter Cable. Porter Cable is well known. Uh, I, won't, I don't want to call them budget brand, but this is uh, this is a good brand tool to if you just want to save just a little bit of money, and uh, it'd be sixty dollars for you. A router. Everybody needs a router, right? These are great. This one was uh, ninety-nine dollars, I believe, uh, without the battery. So if you're looking, if you, this is a rigid, I have a review. I'll drop a card up of this actual uh, router. This thing is so handy. This is a, a little trim router. I use this thing a ton. Before I used this one, I had this one. This is a, a, a Black and Decker a router. It's an inexpensive router, so one horsepower, so it's not just the most uh, powerful uh, router, but two handles, on off switch, you know, you can change the thing. And the only reason I stopped using this, I, I dropped it off my table and I broke the shoe. So I need to get another one. I, they don't make these anymore, so I can't get another one. But it's still useful, it's still it's still operable. I may wind up sticking it in a uh, router table someday, so I hung on to it. But, you know, the, the router blades is gonna be the most not the most expensive thing, but they can get expensive. Uh, but I, I, I bought a set of three roundover bits, Black & Decker roundover bits from Amazon for like $17. And I've been using them a ton. And, and I've, uh, they're still very sharp and they work well. So I highly recommend getting a router. You can do roundover edges, you can do detailed edges. You can uh, cut, cut with them, cut into holes with them. You can cut slots with them like I do for my tabletops when I put the tabletop clips on there. I use a little uh, eighth inch uh, straight bit. There is tons and tons and tons of stuff you can do with routers. A lot of people will like cut round, when they cut their round tabletops out, they'll have a, 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 a jig that they can put this in and then just use a straight bit and take passes. Each pass, cut a little more, cut a little more, and they work very well. These things are very handy. Of course, if you're gonna be cutting out a, a large material, you'll need a, a more bare horsepower. But let me share some picks with you for routers. Picking up a router under $100 can be challenging. These palm routers are sometimes called trim routers. This is a Bosch. It's a, I think it's a well-equipped router for what you're getting. You got some micro adjustments there, which is always handy to adjust that blade up and down. Uh, for $89, regular $99, this is probably gonna be your best buy, which is why I put it first. I would highly recommend it. It's a variable speed, one horsepower, similar to the um, rigid I'm using except for this is a Makita brand, um, Bosch brand. This is one's the Makita. This Makita is uh, similarly appointed. Uh, it's a little, it's got the rack and pinion uh, base or the fine control on there. Uh, it, that cam locks over to lock it in place, uh, similar to that Bosch we just saw. This is a good deal at $99 also. I would probably go with the Bosch because Bosch is kind of known for their routers, but a Makita makes a good one too. Porter cable here. This is called a laminate trimmer. It's also a router. This was a one-speed router though. So yeah, I just threw this in here just for uh, to show you. It's $82, regular $92, uh, but this one does not have uh, variable speed. So I'd probably go with one of the first two, the Bosch or the Makita, if I was choosing. And just for an honorable mission, mention, this is the one I use, the Rigid R86044B. This one without a battery is usually about $99. You can pick it up. This is 105. Just wanted to show you this cordless router is the one I'm using. If you're gonna be woodworking, you're gonna to need to drive screws, you're gonna to need to drill holes, you're gonna to need a drill or an impact or a driver or something like that. This is an old Black & Decker. Uh, it was very inexpensive. It still works. I still use it from time to time. This is a, a corded, chucked uh, drill. and. Uh, it works well. It's uh, you can get several drills under a hundred dollars. I'll show you some. Uh, they work well. I recommend getting two if you're going to get one. That way you can have one to drill holes with and one to drive screws with. It just it works out better. I now have my rigid set uh, that I, I talked about a few videos back. 
uh, that I really, I really like those and they work well, but they're cordless and cordless is the way to go if you can afford it. But keeping it on hundred dollars, you're gonna probably need to go with a corded set unless you go with a, a less inexpensive set like Ryobi. Let me show you some picks for, for some drills and drivers under $100. Hey, if you're gonna be doing woodworking, you're gonna need drills, you're gonna need drivers. Uh, this is a 20 volt. I'm recommending this one first. It's $99. It's one drill with two batteries and a charger. From It's a half inch. So it is smaller than, a, than a, the 3 8 but I think it's a good deal with this 20 volt uh, lithium ion DeWalt drill. You get the uh, keyless chuck. It's lightweight. I think this would be a good deal. It's extremely highly rated. Four and a half star, over 2,500 customer reviews. I don't think you could go wrong if you wanted to pick this up. Uh, if you wanted to have a nice drill in your set. Now we're gonna go to corded. If you wanna check out some corded, this is a Bosch, 3 8 inch keyless chuck. Uh, I wouldn't recommend any keyed chuck. They take so much time. It's a hassle when you lose the key. Uh, so I would, I would recommend this one, $59. Bosch makes great tools. I think this one lasts uh, quite a while. Next up, the pour cable. Another cordless option for $92. Uh, it has the one battery, one charger. So if you toss up between this one and the DeWalt, I would always go with DeWalt. But if you're already in the Porter Cable uh, ecosystem, you already have some of their batteries, this may not be a bad pickup. Then the DeWalt corded uh, drill, it's a 3 8 inch drill. Uh, this has a keyless all metal chuck. This is the drill. If I was buying a drill that's corded, I'd probably go with this one. DeWalt makes great tools, everybody knows that. Hitachi, like I said before, I have the Hitachi uh, belt sander. This is a Hitachi drill, 3 8 inch, keyless chuck. It's 40 bucks, you can, or under 50 when it's not on sale. This is probably a good buy. Porter Cable also makes a corded one for $40. This would be a good pickup if you're, in the, in the, uh, if you're on a budget. You could actually get this one and maybe two, pick up two for under $100, and then you would have one for drilling and one for driving. Last but not least, if you're gonna be uh, woodworking, you're gonna have to paint stuff. That's just the way it is. You're gonna have to paint and you're gonna have to put uh, some finish on. I've got a video, some painting and finishing tip, tips and techniques. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a card up above. But my pick for painting under $100 is this Finish Max Super. Uh, this thing is $99 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Uh, finish Max actually gave me this one. This is the only tool in this set that I was actually given. Uh, they gave, it, gave me this to try and I like it. If I didn't like it, I'd tell you I didn't like it. But it works well. I've painted a bunch of stuff. You look back over the last several videos when you see me painting, spray painting, this is what I'm using. This thing is, is I think it's worth 100 bucks. I mean, this is $99 on Amazon, and sometimes they drop it lower than that. Uh, it comes with three different tips. Uh, it's adjustable, the pattern. I did a review on this one as well. I'll drop the link down below. Uh, you can spray a fan pattern like this, like this, and so you just by, just by moving that tip, uh, it's adjustable uh, flow, paint flow there. Easy to clean up. You just twist this off. It comes with a little wrench to take that tip out and you just rinse it out if you're using water base. Uh, if you're using oil base, you just use some mineral spirits. I've sprayed clear finish with this, the high performance, uh, general finish to high performance. I've sprayed thick paint, thin paint. I've been impressed for $100. I'm no paint expert, so don't, don't take my word on that. But if you're just starting out and you in, in <coughs> saving time, this will save you tons and tons of time. Uh, where I would be painting for an hour or two hours on some of this stuff with the brush, paint a coat, let it dry, paint a coat, let it dry. This thing I spray a coat in five minutes, if that. Clean it up a little bit, wait an hour or two for it to dry while I'm doing other things, come back, spray another coat. In five minutes, this thing this thing will free up a lot of your time, and I highly recommend looking into into one of these spray guns. But I'll drop some uh, the next video. Or I highly, really, I highly, I, I, I highly recommend picking up a spray uh, paint if you're doing a lot of work where you need to try to maximize your time, and that's the reason I wanted one. And all I did was reached out to Home uh, Home Right, who makes these on Instagram. I just shot a message and said, "Hey, I'm." I'm looking to buy a spray gun. I've been looking at yours on Amazon. Which one would you recommend? I told them what kind of work. And they just sent me a, a message back saying uh, they would like to send me one to try. So this one was given to me, but everything else I bought, and uh, they didn't ask me to do a review on it. They didn't ask me to say anything nice. They, didn't, they just sent it to me to try. And 
it's been a good gun. I really like it. And uh, I'll eventually upgrade. And when I do upgrade, I'm going to go with a Fuji. And they're about $350 for the one I want. But keeping it under $100, I don't think you can beat this. So this is the sprayer I have, the Home Right Super Finish Max Extra. Uh, I've had great luck with it. I've sprayed a ton of stuff with it. I really like it. Of course, it was given to me, so you can take that with a grain of salt. I've got three, or I've, I've not changed any tips. I've used the green tip exclusively. I've yet to change the tip or see a need to change them. It's got the uh, flow control on it. Uh, it just, it sprays well. I, I really like it. I'm no painter. I'm not professionally, I'm not a professional painter, but I really like this. I think it's worth $100 if you're looking to save you tons and tons of time. Of course, you want to save a little more money, you can go with the Wagner. Uh, it's not quite as highly reviewed. Uh, I see in the comments, some people say they're having trouble with it. Some people say it works great. So it's kind of a mixed bag, but it is showing four stars. I think if, you, uh, if you're on a budget and you wanted a paint sprayer, you could look at some of these Wagners like this. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you got some use out of it. I hope it helps you out. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your top uh, woodworking tools would be under $100. I'd like to know. If you had not had the opportunity to watch the top five uh, woodworking tools under $25 that I made a few weeks ago, I'll post it here, link here. And then also if you want to watch some of my other videos, they'll be down here.